Hello everybody, I'm back with the same build from the previous video, but this time on a different map. This map has two paths, so it is a little bit trickier um, to um, clear two paths with just one life altar. And don't be tempted to build a second one. I will build just one life altar right here. And that's gonna be it. Uh, I'm not gonna bother I'm building a second one before getting a periodic tower. And I'm gonna show you that it's perfectly enough. Um, in the beginning, you can clear the first uh, wave with just uh, two cannons uh, targeting strong in these positions. Here a cannon can reach um, these creeps here and then when they come around uh, the cannon will hit them here and then when they reach the center the cannon will hit them again. So this is a perfect position for a um, tower that has 750 range and uh, this position here is also uh, very good. So I'm going to build a couple of arrow towers in these positions uh, because look at this the tower can hit here it can hit here and it can hit in the center as well and these four towers will be absolutely enough for the first five uh, waves strong targeting definitely uh, the best but uh, you might want to switch the arrows to front if you fall behind or in this situation where uh, I want them to keep shooting at the elemental. If you don't have the, the arrow uh, shooting front, it might start shooting at the creeps that are spawning here instead of killing the elemental and, and then um, you might uh, leak the elemental. Um, for wave 7 you will want to upgrade something. Uh, up to wave 7 you're good with this tower but uh, these four towers but uh, for wave 7 you need to upgrade something I'm gonna upgrade these two cannon towers into fire towers and after that I'm gonna upgrade them into lightning towers and I'm going to um, target strong with uh, them I sold the arrows to get uh, the lightning towers a bit earlier you don't need to do that you can uh, postpone getting the lightning towers if you want but uh, this is uh, perfectly safe and um, it's good now for wave 10 I'm uh, targeting strong to make them all jump these are temporal creeps i want them to jump and then i'm switching to front because i want to kill the creeps before uh, they jump again if they live long enough they will uh, their their uh, temporal jump will uh, uh, come off cooldown and they, they are going to jump again and at, when a temporal creep uh, jumps uh, its health reverts to what it was three seconds earlier so that's a lot of uh, damage that um, will be uh, undone a lot of damage that your towers have done uh, will be undone by that jump so if you can uh, make them jump as early as possible and then kill them before they make a second jump that's uh, that's the best case scenario Two lightning towers will clear wave 11 pretty much immediately and as you see you cannot ask for a faster um, clear of uh, wave 11 and then I build a couple of darkness towers because this is a bulky wave and it's water and darkness will deal 200% damage to the water creeps and bulky creeps have a little bit more health as you know uh, so any extra damage will just um, help and then the lightning towers will deal only 50% uh, on the next wave because it is earth and these uh, darkness towers will actually be needed here to finish off these 
creeps this is where uh, lightning towers fall behind but it it's okay because the darkness towers will finish the creeps off and um, next wave uh, is uh, cursed so notice how i switch to front um, in order to kill some of the cursed creeps um, one by one um, i don't want to kill them all at once uh, because uh, then the, the tower stops sh stops shooting and um, i think there is a bug with curses where if uh, the tower uh, becomes cursed uh, by uh, enough uh, uh, creeps um, then uh, it kind of stops shooting and it's extremely slow uh, before uh, all the the stacks of, of uh, the curse expire i don't know why that is the case but that is the case and um, it has been uh, talked about uh, there have been discussions about it um i'm not sure what's up with that but i would prefer to avoid um strong targeting on uh, cursed when you, my towers will suddenly kill like 15 uh cursed creeps because uh, at uh, at that point uh, just the lightning towers will We'll have uh, 15 um, curse stacks each and they will stop shooting and, and on the next wave I will fall behind a little bit. So you have to be careful with that. Uh, the darkness towers I upgrade into poison towers because poison towers deal uh, a lot of damage but also uh, damage over time will counter temporal creeps because um, um, very little damage will be wasted as you saw this earth wave uh, that takes only 50 percent damage from the lightning towers uh, died very easily uh, with the uh, two poisons and it, as you can see these guys here also uh, taking a lot of damage in the next waves will also um, not be a problem for these uh, towers and if we look at the net worth of our opponent we are ahead on net worth we have obviously a cheaper setup we have fewer towers and we are killing creeps faster so overall what we are doing is better now these poison towers became corrosion towers they're doing the same thing damage over time but uh, they're dealing a lot more damage and also uh, <clears throat> there is bonus damage um, that the creeps are taking from any uh, source of damage 20 percent more damage so um, the poison towers will be uh, very valuable throughout the game and I am not going to sell these two poison towers, these two corrosion towers at all. I'm not going to sell them. And these four towers will clear the next two waves perfectly. There is nothing to worry about here. Um, it, I didn't slow the replane down enough for you to see, but uh, I... Uh, had the lightning towers to strong and uh, I switched to weak uh, in the end of 24 uh, because I wanted to uh, soak up the curses with the lightning towers so that the corrosion towers uh, had no curse stacks at all uh, when the um, bulky wave uh, spawned and uh, that is why it died so quickly and i could uh, delay upgrading the money towers which is not that big of a deal you just uh, get one more interest tick here i am targeting strong with um, the money towers so that they don't waste too much damage and i'm targeting far 
with the corrosion towers because they will be switching targets a lot and they will be able to apply their effects on uh, as many creeps as possible one corrosion tower in this position will be pretty much enough to keep all the creeps with uh, this effect erode of course when the shields go up uh, the corrosion tower cannot hit then when you will see some creeps uh, occasionally uh, not have the erode effect but that's just because they've been protected by the shields and from then on you will not have any issues with these four towers uh, until wave uh, 32 31 is light so uh, the money towers will take care of it uh, I am calling the essence boss immediately after uh, I have the six elements because this thing here takes forever to kill and as you can notice I'm not spending all, all of my money I am keeping my money so that um, I can gain some interest I have almost 1600 gold collected from interest rate and also I have money towers that generate money I'm going to sell them at some point and selling a uh, triple tower will um, give only 80% um, of the money you have spent for it so um, 3000 gold will become 2400 so uh, you would lose 600 gold in order to sell these two towers but um, they will have generated about uh, 200 maybe a bit less um, when you're selling them so uh, you're going to lose 400 gold let's say 450 uh, that's not that big of a deal and um, you can be completely fine and make up for it with interest rate and even get ahead compared to uh, your opponent later on in the game and at some point you do need to, to build the life altar I get two jinx towers while wave 32 is in the center of the map so when the jinx towers hit wave 32 dealing 200% uh, dark darkness damage does 200% to water creeps uh, that means uh, I can clear 32 thanks to the jinx towers and then the jinx tower can be upgraded into a life altar in the life altar uh, when it activates its effect it can help clear 33 and the essence boss and from here on out I will be uh, activating the ritual sacrifice to regain lost lives but also keep in mind that ritual sacrifice makes your tower stronger so if a very tough wave is coming your way and you are worried about it keep that ritual sacrifice don't waste it on a few weak creeps but keep it when you will really need it don't activate it uh, while your tower is heavily cursed here i will be targeting strong with the altar so that i don't kill these creeps too quickly and um, the uh, money tower will be affected and the corrosion tower will be affected and everything is dead all right um, strong targeting is good because it helps uh, splash towers uh, deal more damage um, as you know uh, the primary hit of a, a splash tower does more damage and, and the other creeps around the main target take less damage so uh, hitting strong um, creeps with splash towers is uh, the best thing to do um, 
and I am going for a uh, well tower um, but I will get that later after I get the uh, periodic as you can see I am 48,000 gold um, I will be selling the uh, money towers for 2400 so I need um, close to 13,000 gold right here and when I have that amount I'm gonna sell these two and build a periodic um, wave 37 is uh, very tanky so mm, it's good to have the uh, ritual sacrifice available for it but I don't I have spent it so uh, it's gonna be a bit tough I changed targeting to far here because I want to hit the center uh, of the map where um, the creeps are on top of one another and, and you can see uh, that the author actually did uh, a brilliant job right here in the center of the map um, depending on the situation changing targeting can be um, a, a great way to to deal with uh, tough situations and here I can recover my lives up to 50 uh, with these uh, creeps so that's why I'm activating the altar and I have 13,000 even 14,000 at this point so I'm selling the money tower the two money towers and I'm going for the periodic tower and once the periodic tower is up I am perfectly safe and I don't have to worry about anything next thing I'm going to do is do the same thing on the other side not going to spend any money I'm going to get a second periodic straight away and I'm keeping the uh, two corrosion towers I'm not selling the corrosion towers no matter what because those are just great this is one of the best towers in the game you saw how two corrosion towers and two lightning towers took care of all waves up to 25 including 25 actually so that's that's a great tower to have and with the um life altar you can see my lives stay at 50 i have uh, a net worth advantage and uh, I'm just way ahead compared to my opponent let's see what my opponent has done that is not so great well all these towers in the center of the map are just not well positioned you want these towers to be in these positions right here these towers as you can see a tower in this position can hit these creeps here it can hit this lane and also creeps in the center so these positions these tiles here are the prime tiles you want your best towers right here and uh, also you want the towers that have 750 range closer to the center but still able to shoot in the other direction so that they don't waste any time sitting idle and that's the biggest mistake of our opponent just having towers in the center and not right here um although there is an argument that if you if you leave the targeting on mushrooms to near um, these towers really need to be here in order to hit the creeps that are in the center but if you have the uh, mushroom towers let's say here um, and if you change targeting to far then the, the mushroom will uh, shoot towards the center when there are creeps in the center so uh, that is why I am positioning the periodic like this you can see the red wine goes through the center of the map and here is where the two wave the two waves the, the creeps from the uh, 
two portals merge here and the uh, periodic towers hits right in the center not every single shot but most of the sh shots uh, are going towards the center uh, and uh, when there are creeps here in the center that overlap the periodic will deal massive amounts of damage and that's why uh, all of my towers here are targeting far at this point uh, it is the um the hope that most of the shots will be landing in the center and hitting overlapping creeps that is uh, making me choose uh, the far targeting one thing to note uh, if this periodic was one uh, square to the right it would have been able to reach these creeps here which is not good because they haven't overlapped with these so it is um, this position that you want uh, for the periodic and not this one you want this one because uh, you don't want the periodic to shoot here where the creeps have not yet overlapped with the other creeps from the other side and uh, that is why I'm keeping symmetry here the same thing uh, applies to this periodic tower where it would hit creeps in the center but it would not shoot here because it, it cannot reach here so you place it here and you choose far targeting and it is gonna hit creeps in the center which is great and um, let's look for a moment at our opponent um, they have placed their best tower in the best position which is great uh, the nuclear tower is uh, positioned correctly as i said this position and this position are great for, for towers with 750 range because it reaches here it reaches here and it reaches here and even here that is all good what is not so good is that nuclear towers are um, a bit of a risk unless you are going for doom towers um, with nuclear towers you are very likely to fall behind uh, especially against me and if I am um, doing what I'm about to do here uh, I'm going to clear the next wave the next few waves uh, very quickly and um, this setup what you see here from uh, my opponent that's not going to keep up with my speed um, we can see our opponent activating life water um, in a moment where um, the creeps are at full HP and the towers are unlikely to land any killing blows so uh, our opponent is not recovering lives whereas uh, here I am activating the life altar uh, in situations where I can kill creeps with these towers and that is why I prefer a periodic tower to uh, weaker towers you of course you can use life altar with whatever towers you want but uh, uh, the stronger the towers that you're boosting with the life altar the, the higher the chances that um, the, those towers will land killing balls and that they will recover lives for you uh, and that's important of course you want to be at 50 lives you can see our opponent uh, falling behind that's no surprise and um, here Except the two periodics, all you want really is just support towers, towers that will make periodic towers stronger. And from then on, um, of course, uh, cursed creeps. I I avoid activating life altar on a cursed wave because um, the towers slow down their attack speed to a uh, point where uh, I think the boost of the altar is pretty much uh, wasted um, 
and I like activating the altars on wave 50 because it's a healing wave that is uh, rather tanky it, it takes quite a lot of beating uh, the next tanky wave is 52 it requires a lot of uh, damage to kill and last but not least wave 55 is pretty tough so uh, ideally I prefer to have uh, the life altar activate on 50, 52 and 55 and since those are very tough waves uh, me killing them quickly puts a lot of pressure on my opponent and my opponent has a lot of nature damage as you can see which means for sure for sure they're going to be unable to keep up on wave 52 which will be taking only 50 percent from um from uh, nature damage but i also have well towers i'm going to upgrade them into well 3 and they will also help with 52 uh quite a quite a lot and I will also prepare for wave 52 by um, building blacksmith and trickery towers and um, I'm gonna have the trickeries built right before the wave spawns so I'm going to have some uh, clones here cloned periodic towers here we go and when the clones are up then I'm going to activate the live altar and and that is quite a lot of damage now the clones are also boosted and as you can see wave 52 is already dead let's slow down and look here and see how much damage was dealt to wave 52 by our opponent at this stage almost none so I'm not sure exactly what the plan of, of our opponent is uh, right here but um, that build here suffers from the same issue that uh, Tesla builds uh, suffer and that is that uh, there is too much nature damage and there is no water damage and wave 52 if you really smash wave 52 very very convincingly um, it just so much nature damage and no water damage that's never gonna keep up with uh, with what you see here and um, there you go this is uh, the baboon build uh, done in two path uh, and um, it is slightly more difficult but it is still pretty easy because you can make quite a lot of mistakes leak a lot of creeps and recover all your lives with uh, with the uh, life altar and you can see I am floating more than 20,000 gold here um, and uh, I am not um, risking anything at any point I, i'm in no uh, particular danger from anything at any point of course um this was a ranked game by the way so uh, the replay is going on but the game was uh, over so i'm i'm not going to do anything else in this uh, replay obviously everything is just um going to proceed uh, automatically uh, but I would activate uh, these orders here to really uh, kill this wave as, as quickly as possible uh, so it never reaches the center and if my opponent was still alive uh, I would uh, do that uh, extra speedy clear of 55 so that they don't have any time to um, gather their thoughts and prepare for the wave 56 which will be the boss wave uh, where 
where uh, who wins the game would be decided if uh, um, uh, if my opponent had survived so th that's very important and uh, last thing uh, what towers would I build um, now uh, I would build some tsunami towers in the center of the map I would boost them with well towers I would uh, clone them with trickeries and I, I would um, sell the clones when the creeps are in the center so that I don't know if you know but when you uh, sell the clone of a tsunami tower the uh, act of selling the tower triggers an explosion the tidal wave explosion of the tsunami tower so that's that's really good and um, I don't think that there will be a huge nerf to tsunami coming on next patch unless uh, the balance team decides something in the last moment and uh, if tsunami doesn't get nerfed a lot uh, it's probably gonna be quite the decent tower and uh, we will see some tsunami builds in the future um, other than that the old uh, howitzer build is probably going to resurface and other than that uh, solar towers uh, are quite uh, capable uh, also and we might see some players try a bit more solar builds and that's all i have to say for now that's the build for two paths and thanks for watching and take care everybody